I'm Dr. Hannah Mishkin, and I'm the program director for the Reading Hospital Emergency Medicine Residency Program. The kind of relationship that you should expect to have with the faculty here is a very collegial one. We have a very robust mentorship program. So every intern that comes in is assigned a mentor and actually an academic advisor. So when you come in, our academic advisors will sit down with you and talk to you about, hey, what do you feel like your studying strengths are? What do you feel that your weaknesses are? And really help develop a plan early on so that you feel that you are on a trajectory to succeed. So our residents will be joining Reading Hospital, which is the flagship hospital for the Tower Health System. We are located in West Reading, Pennsylvania. Um, and because we're kind of further out from the cities, we actually have a very large catchment area. For the emergency department specifically, we are the largest emergency department in the state of Pennsylvania and one of the top 10 busiest EDs in the country um, at a single center, meaning we see over 130, depending on the year, 130 to 135,000 patients through our ED. We have about 100 plus beds. The ED is broken down into different um, sections. So we have a main acute area and where the physicians sit we call the fishbowl um, because the rooms radiate out from that center. And then we have multiple other areas in the emergency department. So we have a dedicated pediatric ED, which is its own 16-bed ED staffed by pediatric emergency medicine trained physicians um, that our residents can rotate there. We have um, an observation unit, we have a fast track, and then we have multiple intermediate areas. What you can expect is to get excellent training in critical care, pediatric care, ultrasound, toxicology, and EMS experience. Our residents, when they leave here, will be able to take care of anything that walks through the door under any circumstances. Not just in an institution where there's academics and every specialty available, but they will also be able to care for patients in austere environments. We have developed a specific section in our emergency department just for residents to run the pod. We're large enough that we have the opportunity to develop one section of our department called HPOD, where the residents will run 16 beds and really learn to spread their wings and gain independence. We view your training almost like your training for the Olympics. You're going out to play in a sport. And emergency medicine is very much a team sport. And so just like in sports, you're gonna have coaches that wanna push you. And just like in sports, you're gonna have athletes of very, that come in with varying levels of aptitude and ability. And we understand that. We understand that students come from many backgrounds, but we're all gonna to get to the same goal and we're gonna get there and work together as a team. So what our emergency medicine residents can expect from day one in the emergency department is a variety of pathology. On a Monday, maybe you would start in the acute pod. You'd come in, you'd get settled. Um, if you're starting in acute, there's a the fishbowl, so you'll be with multiple attendings and you'll have a few other residents. You'll see the first patient that comes in and it's first come, first serve. We are not cherry picking for interns, so if you pick up a hypotensive patient that needs to be intubated, that's yours. So you may start, um, you may start caring for that patient and then as your day goes on you'll likely get alerts for trauma. So you'll go to the trauma bay, manage the airway. We'll get stroke alerts. You'll go over to the CT scan, help manage the, the stroke, the acute stroke patient. Um, you'll see EKGs and we'll give you the opportunity um, to look at an EKG before the MI alert is called. So if somebody's having a heart attack, you'll be right there seeing that as well. Doing all of this with attendings at your side, giving you enough room to grow and to push your limits, but definitely with a security net so that patients are safe and you are working within your comfort zone. Our residents actually have a very robust pediatric experience with multiple levels of experience with children. Not only do our residents have the opportunity to go to St. Christopher's and rotate in their emergency department, they'll have at their disposal the opportunity to select electives to do pediatric specialties in their third year. If you are interested in pursuing an academic career in emergency medicine, we have a partnership with Drexel University. 
We are their primary clinical campus, which means you as an emergency medicine resident have the opportunity to engage in undergraduate medical education. One of the things that's really fantastic about Reading Hospital is that there's an investment in technology and the facilities, which really makes it a pleasure to come to work. You really feel the pride that is put into the campus and the facilities. Things are well maintained. There's lots of space um, for things like parking and activities. Just across the street from the campus is a gorgeous park with um, a stream and a, and a museum that if you just want to take a break and walk outside, you have that available. I think one of my favorite parts about being program director is being able to watch the residents grow and help to get them to the final goal of independently practicing emergency medicine physicians that can take on anything that comes through the door.